first thing people, when, when you walk up to the gate at the airline, um, well, let's just discuss bike fees in general, which is, I'm, I'm not a lawyer, but I feel that there is a class action lawsuit available here for bicycle discrimination. <laughs> um, and if any lawyers are watching, I've tweeted this many times and I've gotten no response, so I must be wrong somehow. But here's the thing, when you go to the, when you check in your, your thing and they say, like there's a bike fee, there's an oversized fee, there's overweight fees, and then there's a bike fee, which is entirely separate. So theoretically, you could have, you could have a bike that's, that weighs a quarter pound and fits in a shoebox, and if it's a bicycle, they could charge you that fee. But if it's golf clubs or a surfboard, it's fine. Golf club, golfers are fine. They don't know that cycling is the new golf. So when you get to the gate, the first thing they ask is, is this a bicycle? And, and here's where a cyclist has to lie. You have to, or you're gonna pay them. Um, and it's just how comfortable you are with lying, right? So like some people, like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna say, like, say it's not a bike, but you could sort of, but a lot of people say, um, well, you know what, let's role play. Why don't, we, why don't we do a little role playing here? It's good here. practice, yeah. So, so I would say the first step is, is you don't want to look like a cyclist. The, the, the main goal is to dodge that question entirely. So here's what you don't do is, uh, go ahead. How are you today? I'm great, sir. How are you? Uh, where, where will you be flying? Uh, Los Angeles. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. is, uh, oh, I see you have a big bag. Is that a bicycle? No, no, that's not a bicycle. Oh, it's not no, a, no, really. You just carry it. Is that a helmet for your own protection? Yeah, I, I slip. I'm very clumsy. Oh, okay, okay. That'll be $350. <sighs> yeah, so what you want to do, you don't want to wear your team hat. You got to conceal at least, like a lot of times this is how you travel with the helmet strapped to your bag. Don't do it. Um, but either, like, I, I hide it under the thing sometimes, just like be, just to cover it. Um, wear a shirt that has a cookie fondo on. Nobody knows what a cookie fondo is. But don't have a shirt that has a bunch of logos and a bicycle event on it. But so you don't do that. So you put on. You have a have a discreet have a discreet cap. Don't have your helmet visible. Um, no one suspects a retired cap to be to be an issue. Um, so so think about that. Have have a game plan while you're in line. You got a lot of time in line. Uh, figure it out. And now. The next step, so once you're comfortable with lying, um, so, so let's, let's role play again. Um, you know, ask me if it's a bicycle. Okay, yeah, so oh, uh, I see you have a, a large bag over there. Is that a bicycle? No, it's a massage table. Oh, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. You're a masseuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, great, man. Um, okay, these, let's, ten hour, these 10 hour days are. It's tough. Yeah. It's, it's, a lot, it's, a, it's a lot of work, but it's very rewarding if you feel better. Oh, okay, well, I hope you have a great mm -hmm. flight. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Now let's try another one. Bless your heart. <laughs> uh, do it, do it, okay, ask me again. Here's, here's another option for you, and this is just what you're into and what you can BS better. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm, proud of, I'm proud of this one, I've, I've used this before. Is that a bicycle? Uh, no, it's art, it's, um, I'm an artist. I see, okay. Um, I, work in, I work in crayons, so what I do is I take, I take the crayons and I melt the wax onto the canvas, it creates many layers. Um, each, each layer is a few days. But uh, but that's that's my that's how I express myself. Huh. Troubled soul. Now you're just talking about art, and they forget that, they, that you owe them 150 dollars. Yeah. Um, another good option is is when they ask if it's a go ahead one more time. <laughs> uh, is that a bicycle? It's just a bunch of crap. So here's the thing. It's uh that wasn't even a lie, really. <laughs> no. You know? No. Like I didn't say it's not a bike. I just said it's just a bunch of crap. All that means is is you know I, I this is hypothetical because I love my Cannondale, but th all that would mean is I have a bike sponsor I don't like. Yeah. You know. Well, you could say something too, like it's uh, uh, this is rehabilitation equipment. There so, you go. It's, it's yeah. It's, it's like very much so physical and mental rehab. Right in my that's life. that's not that's not so, false. Yeah. Um. All right. So that's that's that's, that's step one. That is step one. Is is is. Lying in various degrees of, of blatancy. Um, but I also want to know, too, though, that, like, oh, there's plenty of time for you don't need to say anything. So we, Yeah, we, we don't volunteer like it. There's plenty of people that don't feel comfortable with that sort of thing. And, uh, and, I, and, and like, the reality is if you, if you don't lie, if you tell them it's a bicycle, if they ask you, mm -hmm. you're probably going to have to pay a bike fee. And if, right. if, if it's an airline that has policies that don't, and you can, you can we have all the policies on our website. But, like, right. But you don't. Uh, but if it, if you, <clears throat> but if they ask you and you tell them to bike, a lot of times they're gonna charge you. But right. but the more or 
just as often as not, they're going to not say anything. That's and just true. going to check in fine. That's true. Also, it depends on the airline. Southwest is, is generally like pretty easy on those the fees and the bikes. In Alaska. Um, Alaska. Alaska yeah, Alaska, although the planes are pulled by Huskies, which I don't necessarily trust. Yeah. Um, but, okay, so that's, that's, I don't know if that's step one or two or three. Um, go ahead, we're, we can end there. Curbside. Check-in. Oh, oh, okay. Um, we also recommend curbside check-in is a great way to do it. You get different gate agents there. They're, they're more flustered. They're outside. Um, well, a lot of times, too, they're, they're just, like, contract people for the airport, mm-hmm. and they don't necessarily work for one airline. Okay. So if you just slip, like, wrap your ID in a $5 bill and give it to them, typically that is enough to skirt any... Any question? Hey, I haven't that, tried that, but yeah, well, I will. It, it, so when I was racing, I, I you know I had to extrapolate this a little bit, but mm-hmm. I think it was around three hundred, or th- between three hundred and four hundred flights, and I only paid flight fees twice. Part of getting your your category one upgrade, I think, should be able to be able to get your bike on the plane uh, for free. It's 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 a charm. It's an art. There's a lot of things, and I think that's a big factor yeah. in in like I wouldn't have made it that far. You know, that's that's a month's rent. And now we clap. One more. You don't have to clap. Oh, okay. It's just so they can sync the audio on the things. Okay. Um, okay. I want it to, so. Yeah, you know what? Hey, you know, I we deserve clap. it. For, for our good work, we clap. Um, all right, so, the, so the, the main reason that we brought Isaac here is that Isaac is the, is the designer and founder, co-founder, something, of yeah. Orocase, which is, which is my bike bag sponsor. Um, and, and a bag that, that we wanted to discuss. And it's specifically designed to avoid airline fees and improve uh, cyclist travel convenience. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, there's a lot of things beyond simply just saving money on bike fees. I mean, we, we, we sell the products to a lot of people that live in, like, studio apartments and stuff. And so, mm-hmm. um, you know, traditional bike cases just take a tremendous amount of space to store. Get yeah, a big, heavy both, shell ones. Both, yeah, both in your, in your home, but also when you're traveling. I mean, there's been a number of times when we've had five or six guys flying into some, you know, some bike race, and we have and all sharing a hotel room and sharing all sharing a hotel room, mm-hmm. having one minivan to get us from mm-hmm. the airport, and yep. so, uh, you know, we've had to be very creative in the past with how to store yep. bikes and get them all from point A to point B. No, my my movie is I travel with that. I build the bike up as fast as I can. I have a little uh, little suction cup roof rack, and then the the bike bag just smushes into into nothing basically. Mm-hmm. Um, my favorite thing also about the bag is that it has a backpack strap, um, so you can just carry it around like a backpack, and it's it's light, it's easy, and uh, you end up on trains and stuff, and, and cramming it into Ubers, it just, it, it makes life a lot easier than like the big wheels. Um, all right, so let's... Cyclist got strong legs, you know? None yeah, those, none yeah, we got to lift with our legs arms. and our back, and yeah. that's and that's about all we got. Yeah. All right, we're clapping for the audio. All right, so so the the Oro case. What you in? Okay. <laughs> so the Oro case starts with a very thorough padding system. Uh, it covers all the tubes. There's different. You can trim it based on the the size of your bike. There's kind of just has different sizes, but it protects every part of the frame. So you can order this this packing kit for whether you're using the Oro case or not. No matter how you're packing your bike. Yeah, yeah. So it'll actually work with both the or case bag when you have to remove your fork but if you have a traditional bike case that you only remove the handlebars uh, we, you can also use uh, we have you know fork sleeve protector for it as well and it's and it, it works for for disc brakes mountain bikes all yeah. sizes weird sizes bikes with no handlebars on or bikes yeah, with no bar yeah I mean, unicycles you know? and, and downhill bikes you're gonna have some problems i okay. think but um just unicycle isn't a bicycle that's not your problem mm, okay. is there a, a unicycle fee on united airlines let's see that's a good question. There's no unicycle. They have, unicycle has a good lobby. They're not discriminated against. Yeah. Like, but the bicycle They're lobby in with the is weak. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, so, so it starts, it's, it's, it's super protected. And uh, your driller, there's a, there's a place for everything in the padding system. The, the idea is, too, is that it's more universal because you can trim to fit depending on your size. Mm-hmm. So, um, and and it's, it's every bit of it, too. I'm a little bit slow, too, so I fit. Oh, I'm gonna do it. This is Isaac trying to clap at the same time as me. That's pretty good. Okay. (laughs) All right. So now we're gonna put her in. All 
right down there. As close to I get as being a professional with having Isaac pack my case for me. Yeah, that's a good point. You should be packing this. Okay. So we set out. I'm uh, set in. Set in. And then just press the little pockets on the sides of the case. Uh, there's a pocket for the seat. Put it on there. Okay. So we got wheels, frame, handlebars, fork, seat. Close her up. There she is. Um, here we go. Backpack straps. I'm ready to get out of here. Ready. It it matches my clothes. Um, but here's me. I'm ready to go to the airport in my with my massage table uh, slash just a bunch of crap slash art supplies. Rehab equipment. My everything but a bicycle right here. All right, that's it. Thank you, Isaac. Thank you. Thank you, Orcase. Um, yeah. That's it. You do other stuff too. You don't need to grab at the end. No, 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 no. Okay. That's a wrap. No.